today is the important stage in the development of our solar farm where we're putting up the first panels but it really does demonstrate to people that this project is well and truly underway and we're using the latest high-tech panels that will produce the very best outcomes in terms of their absorption of sunshine to produce energy. Well I think it's important on a number of fronts. First of all it's a wonderful reinforcement about the Sunshine Coast brand. Secondly, it will save our ratepayers over the life of the project at least $22 million. And thirdly, it is a real stimulus for the clean tech industry sector, which is one of our high value industries. And this is a clear demonstration of our region's commitment to clean energy and renewables. The energy produced here, the 15 megawatts, will be an offset for all of Council's energy use. So all of our buildings, parks, gardens, aquatic centres, libraries, galleries, street lighting will all be offset by the energy produced from here and there'll be a surplus above that that'll be sold into the grid as well. So this really sets us apart as is Queensland's biggest solar farm. So today is a day of first. Um, yes, we're the first local government in Australia to invest in a utility scale solar farm but we're also today announcing, or celebrating I guess, the installation of the solar panels in a table formation. So it's a, it's a very exciting opportunity for us, being the first, to actually see how a solar farm is constructed. The poles are four metres high, so that makes sure that in any major flood event, they're well out of the water. And as I talk to people around the Sunshine Coast, individually or in major groups, about the major projects we've got underway, hospitals, CBDs, airports, this is the one that gets the most excited. We believe that the community of the Sunshine Coast will really embrace this solar farm as an example of what we can do as a little region in the global scale to manage our carbon output.